so I've seen a lot of talk around between Arthur Morgan and Trevor Phillips one-on-one, -on -one, and I generally don't find it interesting to compare powerful characters. But this one seems interesting because they both have two special unique abilities. So I thought let me make a video and see who's the strongest. I'm not going to bore you with numbers and plain text only. We're going to do a deep analysis. But numbers are important too. For numbers, Trevor and Arthur are about the same height. There is no official data about their height because there are no manuals regarding it. But according to some nerd data, Arthur Morgan is about 6 feet 2 inches. You can convert that into centimeters. And Trevor is about 6 feet 1.5 inches. So they are about the same height. Although Arthur looks a little bigger. Size will matter to some extent because they both are not superheroes. They're not going to have special abilities. Although Arthur Morgan has dead eye. But still, size will matter if they're going to go one to one. Because imagine six. Two man fighting a five on five. It could be a massacre. But yeah, height will not be a big factor here. So let's look at other things that will matter. As will who's actually going to win this battle. Size has only a few perks. The main thing is how well you can fight. We will talk about guns and weapons later. But let's just talk about pure fighting. And it requires skills. Both games have a lot of things to consider when it comes to fighting. And Arthur knows how to fight. And Arthur punches are powerful. And there's literally an, an Easter egg for that. If you remember, he had a crazy fight with Tommy in Red Dead Redemption 2. And after the fight, you can literally see a dent on Tommy's head after the Arthur fight. Which shows that my man got some muscles there, so he's not weak. And now, for Trevor Phillips. Trevor is strong too. And he might not be the strongest GTA protagonist. But he sure is the strongest GTA 5 protagonist. His punches are powerful too. Although we don't have any Easter egg to prove his muscle power. But I think he has the ability to match Arthur Morgan. But matching is not the topic. We are here to decide who's going to actually win and who's going to actually outpower. And if both of the fighters fight raw, one-on-one, -on -one, without any weapon, like a mud fight, I think the one who will win is... Trevor Phillips. Trevor Phillips. I know this might be surprising to you, but I think Trevor has that animal instinct that needs to win any street fight, or, you know, one-on-one -on -one fight, without any weapons. Arthur is smart. He has the brain to deal with any fighting situation calmly and collectively. But how far can that take him? Because at the end of the day, he needs to hit punches. And Trevor's mad. That's what we've seen in the game. If you fight him in one, he's going to destroy you absolutely. Like how he destroyed Johnny in that GTA 5 campaign. Or how he murders people with no stopping. And we are talking about Trevor's special ability too. His special ability grants him double damage, which will obviously help him in a close range fight and he's going to kill his opponent easily. So I don't think there is much doubt that Trevor will win this round. But it will be a close fight. But Trevor will win. And you know the best way to test it would have been a Rockstar type Super Smash Bros. I even have a video on that, you can check that out, but that's just for the fighting with, you know. But now we need to talk about weapons too. You know this was the first round, which was combat fighting, which Trevor won. But now there are two more rounds we're going to talk about. The second, is with weapons. In a shootout, both games are heavily connected with guns, and the third will be a face-off. What will happen if they are actually face-to-face? -face? That way, a fight can turn into anything, and it will require intelligence, defense, and everything to win. So that will be the third round. But let's come to the second round, which is shooting and guns. Now who's going to win in this battle? There is not much to say about the special ability of Arthur Morgan, which is Deadeye. And he is probably the best shooter in Dutch Gang in Red Dead Redemption 2. But maybe Red Dead Redemption 1's John was better. But that's a topic for a different video. Let's stick to the current menu. So Arthur Morgan, probably one of the best shooters in RDR 2. And Trevor. I think Trevor is the best in GTA 5. Although they marketed Franklin as a good shooter too. Bug, I think Trevor is better at shooting. So who's going to win the shooting battle? But one more thing to note is that Trevor has mainly used, at least in the game, the snipers. And Arthur Morgan, on the other hand, uses short-range weapons more often. But who will win in 1v1? And I think we know the answer. That's Arthur Morgan. Why? Because, again, even less so about his ability cost. His ability grants him a superior advantage. You know, seeing your opponent in slow motion and dusting him out. I mean, what more can you expect? But even if you remove special abilities, Let's remove Deadeye, and this is a 1v1 pro-gun battle between Trevor and Arthur. I still believe that Arthur's going to win it here again. And we are talking about a normal distance, not a sniping battle or anything like that. In a normal battle, 
in cowboy-style fashion, Arthur's going to win it. Because his aim is unmatched, far better than that of Trevor. And if he got the speed, he has experience too. He has been using guns his entire life, and in the game we can see how badass he is with the guns. So I think in the second round, the gun battle, Arthur Morgan wins it easily. So now the score is one on one. But the main thing is now, in round three, the actual face off. Let's say they both face off somewhere. I don't know where. And now one of them is going to die, and they have no one around. So who is going to win it? Battle can turn any time. And remember, let's assume that they both want to kill each other. So who is going to come out alive from that situation? So it's obvious someone's getting smoked. Someone's going to get smoked, and I know who that is. And I think most of you know who that is too, that's Trevor Phillips. Yeah, Arthur's going to win it. And if you were expecting Trevor, then I don't blame you. Easily, this battle is actually pretty close because Trevor is an animal, but Arthur will come out alive if they ever face him because he has all the things needed to win on his side. Arthur Morgan is not a rookie that Trevor can do a quick attack and snap his skull. He won't be able to do that. There will be an actual man-to-man -man fight and Arthur's going to win it. He's more powerful with a gun, and gun will be the important factor here because, you know, why would he, Arthur, a smart man, fight Trevor in a situation where he will lose? He will definitely go with the gun, and before Trevor will be able to aim, he will be shot at with that dead eye. So, yeah, I think that's all the analysis, but that's why I believe Arthur Morgan's going to win it. I could have added more details and probably made this video 20 minutes long, but I think this will do it. I gave you the most important information. This is not what I usually do on the channel, but I think I might start doing it. Not every single video, but from time to time there's battles between the badass guys. The next one I can make between Nico and John Martin will be epic too. And I can add more rounds. If you want to see that, just let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. That would mean a lot. Trust me. And subscribe because I upload content regularly. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.